The beginning of a new relationship is always fun and exciting, and after those few awkward first meetups, the physical and emotional intensity and intimacy begins to grow into a real, potentially long-lasting relationship. And in the excitement of this new, long-lasting relationship, it is easy to neglect yourself, old friends, and your desire to spend every waking moment with your new partner. You must remember that in an abusive relationship. However, the, this healthy balance does not emerge. Isolation in which the abuse slowly severs all emotional ties except for the one that him or her has to the abuser is one of the earliest signs of emotional and or physical abuse. And unfortunately, it is extremely effective, subtle, and difficult to detect. While isolation may be difficult to detect, it is not impossible to recognize. Here are some warning signs that your partner may be trying to isolate you from your support network. Number one, your partner insists on as much one-on-one -on -one time as humanly possible. And one-on-one -on -one time being uh, any long-term healthy part of a relationship. But when all of the time is purposely spent solely with your partner to the exclusion of other relationships, it could be a warning sign that he or she is trying to isolate you. And while all of his or her requests for your time can feel romantic, this romance may be a thin veil to cover or to hide what is, in fact, an increasing amount of control and domination. If your partner refuses to interact with your friends and your family, you must understand that friends and family are an important part of your life and your significant other should want to get to know these people. So if an, ab an abuser, however, they will actively avoid all of these relationships and they may refuse to spend time with family or friends and they may be actively rude and unpleasant to them whenever they refuse to spend time with your friends or your family. If your partner is inventing reasons why they cannot see your friends or your family, if they cancel plans without asking or coming up with alternative plans, that the time that you mentioned spending time with your friends or family or hearing that you plan to spend time with friends or family, he or she might say, oh, I just made reservations for us to go out to eat together. My mother just told me she's coming for dinner with us again. However, it is clear that those plans were not formed until his, him or her, until he or she heard about your other plans. And this could be a clear warning sign. Does your partner use jealousy, guilt, or other emotional uh, manipulation? Jealousy, this is a very powerful tool and source of emotional manipulation that abusers use with great effect when trying to isolate their partner from friends and family, making you feel guilty because you feel you enjoy spending time with your friends and family. And for example, this implies that spending time with friends or family is wrong when in fact, it is perfectly normal and healthy to spend time with friends or family. He or she may say that you care more about your friends or family than you do he or she, and they may consistently tell you that he or she is the only one that really tell, really understands or loves you. And claiming to be jealous is another powerful, powerful tool in the abuser's arsenal. To prevent your partner's jealousy, you give up certain friendships to quote-unquote prove that you love him or her and giving up these friendships again is the abuser's gaslighting narrative that your isolation is your fault. Does your partner check in on you constantly? It is normal for people who are in a committed relationship to know what each other's plans are and to check in on them occasionally. However, when checking in turns into constant surveillance on them, that could be a sign that the partner is trying to isolate you. For example, your partner may call you every hour or more frequently every time that they know you are out, hanging around unrequested while you eat or while you shop with your friends or unexpectedly showing up, giving you a ride just to check in are all signs that your, so, your significant other does not want you to have the freedom to socialize with friends or family outside of the relationship. Your partner, may it, they may insist on knowing all of your passwords. Monitoring all forms of communication is another outside world type of control tactic that can be a, an isolation signal for emotional abuse. And your partner may insist that you share email addresses and share passwords or give each other your passwords to your phone and to your social media accounts. This is just just yet another half-hearted or whole-hearted attempt at isolating you. And anytime you see isolating situations, such as the ones that I listed, you can be almost 100% sure that there is some form of emotional abuse that is happening within the relationship. So look out, guys. My name is Sarah Ann Brown, and this is Narcissistic Abuse 101.